What is going on everybody? Welcome to episode one of the Meta Breakdown. So this is going to be a little series kind of just talking about what I think the state of the meta is in Madden offense, defense, just the general meta. And it's something I want to be a little more interactive with you guys. Um, I know obviously you guys can't kind of comment as I go along, but uh, you guys can definitely participate by leaving your opinions on uh, kind of what I talk about and what I say throughout the video in the comment section. And, and you know, we can have a discussion from there about it. I know everybody kind of has their own opinion. Everything that I say in here is going to be my opinion. So don't take it for 100%, you know, fact. It's just kind of what I think of from playing the game. Now, Right here, you're going to see the footage in the background. It's just me uh, playing regular head-to-head -head mutt. I've played 13 games, I believe. I'm 12-1. I'm and one. I ended up, uh, I lost a game the other night. It was a great game. Opponent was pretty good, so I uh, can't really be mad about that. But played 13 head-to-head -head games, played a few mutt squad games, a few mutt drafts. And so um, basically, I'm going to mainly be drawing from what I've seen in regular mutt head-to-head, -head, as well as Twitch streams. And just kind of what I've been hearing. So, um, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, basically what I've noticed is I'm seeing a lot of split close. That's probably been the most popular formation that I've seen so far. Uh, has been split close, and I think it's because it's an easy formation to run. It's very simple, and it's very effective usually at the beginning of the year. This seems like it happens almost every year in Madden. Where at the beginning of the year, split close is one of the most popular formations because it's just a formation that's good against vanilla defenses. And at the beginning of the year, uh, when nobody really has any exotic pressure, a split close, you can really dice people up. It's got a good running attack with the fullback inside in the HB power row. Uh, you've got obviously the HB wheel play that everybody knows. And then some other supplemental plays, depending if you run Patriots playbook, their split close has X drag trail, which is a decent a complimentary play if you run uh, some other playbooks might have uh, the wide receiver corner play with the C route some playbooks might have the fullback trail play out the backfield so you have uh, those different kind of niche plays but the main trio of plays you're going to see is the fullback dive or the fullback inside rather HB power O HB wheel but uh, that's probably been the most popular thing I've come across I've also been coming across a lot of the new uh, shotgun two tight end sets so a lot of times it'll be uh, the the gun wing slot offset I believe it's called and so there's two tight ends to the right uh, running back in the backfield and then two receivers to the left they might either be spread out or uh, stacked on top of each other uh, that's probably the next most popular thing I've been coming across now out of that uh, basically uh, people are, I think are still kind of learning the passing game, the run game's pretty good. You have the inside zone. You also have an 0 one trap and a power O, I believe. And then you also have the the passing game is basically going to boil down to uh, you have a PA post shot play, uh, which gives you it's two posts on the left side, and then uh, you have a deep corner route on the right side that you have to worry about. I see that play being run a lot. And then uh, the other play is they have a, a PA jailbreak screen, uh, which is something a lot of people like to go to. Uh, that's another play in particular. Uh, that has been popular early on I've noticed are those jailbreak screens so um, that's probably the two most now obviously uh, you still have the normal stuff you still see gun bunch every now and then um, I've seen gun tight flex once um, from the Tennessee Titans playbook I'm assuming so you still see stuff like that another thing I've seen a couple times are uh, people who like to run these trips offenses so it'll be like a trips tight end style or a Trey Y flex style offense where Basically, you have to worry about, you know, levels on the right side with the tight end on the corner route, halfback on a table route. You have to worry about the inside zone uh, going to the left, and then you have to worry about the verticals or the PA crossers. And then uh, there might be uh, one or two other plays that they'll mix in, but that's kind of the basis of the scheme are those three initial plays right there with the levels, the inside zone, and the PA crossers. So that's another thing uh, that's been pretty popular, and I think the reason that's popular right now is because of how bad zone coverage is. And those crossing routes just eat up zone coverage. And if you play man, uh, it's hard to try and lurk all three of them. Along with the fact that, uh, you know, user defenders were kind of nerfed this year. Uh, with the fact that you can't really quite change direction like you could in years past. So, I think that's kind of where the meta is at right now. I think as time goes on, I think split close will become less popular as people uh, come up with blitzes. 
Uh, Split Close just doesn't have the routes in it, I think, to survive very long. Um, I mean, you saw it last year as well. Split Close really tapered off. Nobody really ran it in the Madden Challenges. Uh, as the year went on, um, you, you saw obviously like Gun Bunch, Gun Type Flex, uh, stuff like that. So I think Split Close uh, will taper off. I think uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of... I think Gun Bunch will survive. Despite Z-Spot getting nerfed, I think Gun Bunch will survive. I think you're going to see a lot of Gun Type Flex still. I still think that it, that is very good. I think PA Post Shot is just as good as it was last year as long as the zones are how they are. Obviously, the patch is supposed to be coming out soon. So uh, whenever this video comes out, you know, the patch might be out for all I know. So um, that's something to keep in mind. But as of right now, Gun Type Flex, I think, is still in a good spot. I think single back deuce close could be making a comeback. Um, I've been noticing that formation is in a ton of playbooks. So you no longer kind of have to, you know, if you pick a playbook with single back deuce close in it, you don't have to fully commit to single back deuce close. Now it's in like, I think 20 or 21 different playbooks. So really you can have a scheme based on another formation and then have basically a deuce close mini scheme. So I think a lot of people will have that deuce close mini scheme definitely check it out whatever playbook you're running right now uh, i would go ahead and see if deuce close is in it great formation to have a mini scheme in or even a main scheme out of so that's kind of where i think uh, the meta will go i think um the the twin tight end gun formations are kind of a fad right now because they're new i'm not sure whether or not they're going to stick around i don't know if they have the passing firepower to do so uh, so we'll see i think they i think they have the potential but it remains to be seen kind of how effective everything else is because it even if it's good enough if there's something else that comes out that's just way more effective than everything else kind of like gun bunch week was last year uh, then i think that might fall to the wayside as well along with split close so i think it'll be interesting to see now defensively um basically a lot of people playing a lot of coverage right now um at least online now i'm sure tournament players probably have you know their blitzes labbed up with their crews and everything and they're not showing it on streams and they're saving it for tournaments and money games and stuff so i'm sure there is pressure out there uh, but online in terms of just online and watching streams seems like a lot of people are running you know base pressures not getting too fancy i've seen a couple of seems like looping blitzes are the meta this year so far um i've seen obviously i went over the four six normal uh, lights out put out the video uh, with the uh, middle linebacker looping in on basically I think you can run it out of any play it's just like a line shift to the left pinch your line and then re-blitz the middle linebacker and he comes looping in I've seen uh, I think Madden Daily also put out a 335 looping video I've seen people running crossfire on twitch streams so and I also ran into a guy running crossfire online so that's kind of a blast from the past from I believe was that Madden 16 uh, whenever crossfire and double loop were the meta, you know, as the year went on, I believe that was Madden 16. So kind of a blast from the past seeing that kind of stuff. But that seems to be the meta right now if you're trying to get pressure. Now, a lot of people are saying, screw that. They're not even trying to get pressure. And they're just dropping back into, you know, cover three, cover four is basically the two uh, coverage shells I've been seeing. I haven't seen a ton of Tampa 2. Seems like it gets beat pretty easily because almost everybody's running post routes this year. So in those post routes, just the, I mean, the deep zones play awfully. So uh, the post route is almost a one play touchdown every single time against cover two if you're not using it. And, you know, if you have to bail every single play with your user to user a deep post, you're going to get eaten up over the middle of the field, over the shallow and inter intermediate part. So not a lot of Tampa 2. You're seeing a lot of cover three, cover four shells, I think. And a lot of people are just rushing three or four and setting those you know, pass rush coach or um, coach adjustments to aggressive to try and get that extra little oomph on the pass rush. Um, that is a tip. If you notice that your opponent's pass rush is coming in hot, or even if you're in the kind of the upper levels of online play, I've noticed a lot of people will put just instantly that pass rush setting to aggressive because no one fake hikes. And that's really the only drawback is if your opponent hard counts you and your guys jump off side. So definitely think about hard counting if you notice your opponent's a pass rush is getting there super quickly or even if it's not even if it's just the beginning of the game um and you just want to check hard, uh, i think hard counting is an all right move early on in the game just to kind of keep your opponent honest with that aggressive pass rush setting but uh, that's kind of what i see i think obviously there will be i mean every year 
I can't remember a year in Madden where heat wasn't found. I mean, every single year there's a blitz that comes out uh, that basically becomes the meta or at least the, the concept of the blitz forms the meta and people take it to be their own, whether it's in the same formation, different formations, they take the concept and carry it over to different plays. So I think you'll definitely see that. How quickly? I'm not sure. Uh, the first tournament is going to be next week, I believe, the Compete Forever tournament, I think September 2nd or 3rd. So uh, we'll see what comes out at that tournament whenever there's money on the line. So I'm sure you'll see, you know, whatever people have cooked up, uh, that's probably the first place you're going to see it. So definitely excited to check out that tournament. And, and I think that's pretty much it for the meta. Definitely let me know uh, what you guys think. Uh, has been the meta let me know if you guys been playing online kind of what a year experience has been and what you've been running into both on offense and defense what you guys think's effective what you guys think is bad just let me know everything and uh, we can have a nice discussion about it now another thing I wanted to talk about was a playbook tier list so uh, right here I'm gonna go ahead pull up now this is just my playbook tier list we're you know a week into the game from EA access so obviously this is very very rough very very early all my personal opinions um, definitely I'm not saying you know a, a team in the C tier can't be used competitively uh, as a playbook you know I'm not saying the Raiders playbook because I have them down in C tier <clears throat> can't win a tournament you know I, I think every playbook especially with how bad defense is right now and you know how kind of easy it is just to kind of dot up your opponent I think uh, every playbook is viable I don't think there's any playbook that's not viable I think almost every year every playbook is viable if you if you commit to it and have a scheme out of it and know it like the back of your hand uh, I do think these are my early favorites to be a little more um, advanced than the rest I guess or a little more diverse maybe is the better word than the rest so s tier a tier b tier c tier so s tier uh, being the best i've got <coughs> the new york or the the new york jets so also uh these aren't in any particular order so i'm not saying packers better than seahawks which is better than cardinals which is better than jets um i think they're in no particular order new york jets being the first one i want to talk about in the s tier uh, they're kind of, I think, the hottest playbook right now. I see a lot of people running that playbook, and f with good reason. They really have a little bit of everything. You get split close. You get, you know, the new wing slot offset uh, gun formation. You get pistol bunch tight end. You get doubles offset. You get a gun bunch variation with the, the bunch offset. You get, you know, Trey Y flex. So that's kind of the, the trips formation that I was talking about earlier. You get the deuce close. You get... The single back tight slot so it it has literally just everything uh, you could really want at the beginning of the year it has the old reliable stuff it has the stuff that's good at the beginning of the year and it has some new stuff that you can experiment with so i think the jets definitely a hot commodity right now cardinals also kind of the same case uh, for the cardinals notice <coughs> excuse me right there <laughs> but you notice uh, the cardinals uh, also have split close so two split close playbooks in a row right there and, and for good reason I think split close uh, has come out with a bang uh, to start the Madden 18 year so obviously you know Cardinals you get the split close you have a slot offset which is also a decent formation so far this year uh, you get the gun tight you get the gun flip trips the gun bunch halfback strong which by the way has the Z spot set up from last year in it uh, if you guys don't know, Z-Spot was nerfed out of Gun Bunch Week. That backside deep post route no longer there. But in the Gun Bunch halfback strong formation, with the halfback on the right side of the quarterback rather than the left, they have the Z-Spot from last year. So you can find that play in uh, the Arizona Cardinals playbook and I believe in a couple others uh, throughout the game. They're single back, all right, but mainly uh, you go to the Cardinals for the shotgun, split close, flip trips. Uh, gun tight stuff like that empty bunch wide also a formation uh, that merits consideration with kind of especially at the beginning of the year I think five wide is the most um, five wide is probably the best it's going to be at the beginning of the year because nobody has pressure uh, to kind of get you out of five wide a lot of people just send base pressures three or four man pass rush so you can kind of get the time in the pocket to dissect your opponent out of five wide whereas later in the year when people have these blitzes you're just not going to have the time to get the ball off so uh, that's kind of why the Cardinals I have in S tier um, for the Seahawks I think you guys probably know Seahawks uh, might along with the Jets be the most popular playbook so far this year I think 
Um, they just have, they're the king of the bunches, basically. They have a gun bunch tight end, gun bunch weak, gun bunch open tight end. So, uh, three different bunch formations. You also have single back bunch ace. Uh, you get the trips tight end offset, so you get that uh, trips formation. Uh, you get the gun tight slots, you get the ace slot offset, uh, which can get a nice, you know, I mean, that, that can be a nice base offense in and of itself. You get the gun wing pair with three tight ends, you get the wing slot offset, so... Uh, that's the two tight end gun formation and single back you get a nice deuce close formation so really uh, they just have a little bit of everything kind of like uh, the New York Jets Swiss RV knife you have uh, basically everything you could ask for out of that Seattle Seahawks uh, offensive playbook and last but not least in the S tier uh, the Green Bay Packers so the, the reason I think the Packers slid in the S tier over A tier for me uh, was how now they have deuce close which they did not have last year and they also have tight offset tight end they are the only playbook other than the new orleans saints that has tight offset tight end so uh, because of that i think uh, that shoots them into that s tier uh, with uh, the cardinal seahawks and packers now their tight offset tight end isn't as intricate as the new orleans saints but it's still the formation still a great formation you still have I think the best gun bunch in the game out of uh, the Green Bay Packers playbook. You have a great wide trips. You have a great doubles flex. Uh, you still have some decent single back. You don't have the single back tight flex anymore. They took that formation out of the game. But now you do have the deuce close like I said earlier. And you have some other supplemental formations that you can make work. So I think that's the four S tier uh, playbooks right now. In the A tier, going to just try to glaze these over. Jaguars I think has... A lot of everything, um, they have a lot of trips formations, which I, I really like. You get the gun bunch. It's a lot of one back, so it's a lot of single back and gun. Uh, you only have one eye formation, uh, which is eye form wing. Uh, you get the single back deuce close. You get the new formation, single back deuce Y flex, which has the same personnel as deuce close. So you can audible between those two and have a nice little scheme out of there. Uh, but like I said, you get some nice uh, trips formations with the trio Jaguar. You get the trips Y flex. You get the trips tight end offset. So Jaguar is good for trips. Titans, or or rather uh, the Houston Texans. We'll be getting to the Titans a little later. But Houston Texans, I really like them because of the fact, and that's actually the playbook I've been using uh, throughout these gameplays. I like them uh, because you get to see uh, the pistol tight slots. They're the only formation, or the only playbook rather, with that formation in the game as well as uh, the single back tight slot. So you have a nice little scheme audibling between the two of those. You can go from single back down to, or back up to pistol, or back down to single back, and uh, kind of have eight different plays at your disposal out of essentially the same formation. And that pistol tight slots can get uh, pretty funky with the hot routes from that tight end formation. He gets treated as a running back in the backfield, even though he's a tight end on the line of scrimmage. So you can hot route him to a wheel route so you have hot you have running back hot routes to that tight end so you can put him on a wheel route you can put him on a check and release uh, you can really get fancy with him so that's definitely something i think to be on the lookout for patriots very well rounded you don't have a lot of the new formations a lot of those stack formations with the patriots but all reliable you get the trips tight end you get the single back tight slots you get the um gun bunch you get you know the normal patriot stuff they're always going to be a solid playbook as long as they have that uh, you get with the Steelers, you're looking at uh, just a lot of different formations. You have a nice single back deuce close, only deuce close, I believe, uh, that has the 0-1 trap play. Uh, but out of the shotgun, you do have a lot of different formations. You have a lot of trips, so you have trio, bunch, uh, tray stack. You have an empty bunch formation, also the only form or the only playbook in the game with the gun tight doubles formation this year. So. Uh, that's another thing uh, unique to the Steelers playbook. Titans, I think, is in consideration for that S tier. I think they could have easily shot up there, uh, and I think they definitely will have the chance to. Obviously, last year, Titans very good, and mainly what's carrying them is the gun tight flex formation, the gun bunch, and the single back deuce close. Now, Broncos, uh, kind of the same as last year, a little different, uh, but you get the same kind of... Kind of um, flavors uh, you get that gun tight you get the gun bunch you get the gun trips tight end now you have the trips tight end flex and the trio broncos so you have a lot of trips formations you still get the doubles hb week you still get gun doubles you add in the wing slot offset of the new formation also they now have deuce close so i think the deuce close addition as well as a lot of the trips formation being added and the wing slot offset shot them into a tier now b tier 
just kind of a general glaze over I think B tier it's a lot of different playbooks that have a oh, one or two nice formations a la you know the Saints with the gun tight offset tight in um the Panthers have a nice I think gun bunch and gun a slot um you have uh, the 49ers and the Chargers who have some good uh, gun formations I think so there, there are kind of a lot of teams, and one team I think that could be a sleeper out of this B tier is uh, the Atlanta Falcons. I think the Falcons could easily jump up to A or even S tier in the future, so definitely be on the lookout for those. C tier, kind of a lot of playbooks that I think when I look at them, uh, my first impressions were, okay, these are all right, but I can find other playbooks that also contain the things that I would want to do out of these plus more. So basically if you think of it like kind of knockoff versions of other playbooks if they had maybe one or two more unique formations uh and that's kind of what sets the s and a tier uh, books apart from the others i think they they have those unique formations that the c tier teams are just kind of lacking you know you look at the c tier teams and you're like okay yeah it's all pretty similar but you know the texans have the pistol tight slots formation well that puts them over the top but you know the jets have um, deuce close and split close so that, that puts them over the top but you know the Seahawks have you know a really good uh, bunch tight end and empty bunch and gun bunch week so that puts them over the top so it's kind of stuff like that um, that I think kind of faults for the C tier now definitely like I said at the beginning of the video C tier uh, you can definitely have viable schemes out of that not knocking them at all but that's just my personal opinion and this is all obviously just my opinion I could totally be off on this this is just kind of what I think you know a few days into the release of Madden 18 but definitely that's another thing I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on uh, the tier list if you guys have you know some input of your own what playbook are you guys running if you think a playbook should be higher lower definitely let me know I think it'd be interesting to kind of get a discussion going and hear everybody's opinions on that so excited for that but that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I actually ran a little longer than I wanted it to, but uh, kind of got carried away when I was talking about the playbooks there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is kind of going to be something I want to do every week or two uh, on this Friday episode. So uh, it'll definitely ramp up kind of as the tournaments start happening and the meta starts evolving that much quicker. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this style of video. Let me know if it was boring, if it dragged on too long, if you loved it, if you hated it. Just let me know. Uh, your feedback is always welcome on this channel. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said earlier. And until next time, guys, take it easy.